Okay, so we are in this book here, Generalized Linear Models with Examples in R, and we are on, uh, uh, we're in Chapter 1, Question 1.9, okay? So, uh, again, we have a, a data set that we need to work with, uh, and then do some things with it. And so we'll just kind of march through these one at a time. So first we need to load the data from the GLM's data package. So make sure you install and load the, that package, and then we'll pull out the blocks data, okay? Uh, and we need to produce a summary of the variables. And so again, we can do that with this summary function here. Do, do, do. Okay, so this is kind of busy, but here's just a header of the uh, of the data frame. Okay, it actually goes on quite a bit bigger. Okay, uh, and then this this gives us a summary of the different variables, right? So it looks like we have a bunch of children. Okay. Um, they, and they all have four rows, and so I assume that each row corresponds to a trial. And uh, so they, they all have one trial, two trial. Okay. Um, the fact that there's a median and a mean just mean it doesn't mean anything here. It's just every every value is either one or two, and so you can find a mean and a median from those things. Okay. Um, uh, and uh, since there's four of these and uh, four rows for every child and two trials. There's also two shapes, and so they're they're building these castles or you know these towers with these blocks, and the blocks could either be cube or cylinder, okay? Um, and we record the number of blocks that they use of either cube or cylinder, and the amount of time it takes them and their age. And it looks like they're about age two and a half to five or so. Okay. So the first thing we want, or the next thing we want to do, is to produce plots to examine uh, the relationships between the time taken to build the towers, block type trial number and age okay so i'm going to use the uh ggplot uh package ggplot2 um and so again how you do this is you specify the data that you want to use what the x variable is and the y variable and then you can specify other dimensions and so we'll use the size of the marker so we're going to use a, a scatter plot we'll, and so we'll use the size of the marker uh, as a way of denoting how many blocks they're using. Um, for shape, we'll use the shape of the block, either cylinders or cubes, and we'll also color code by shape. Um, and then the alpha, or the, the darkness, or the transparency of the marker and the line will, will be denoted by the age. Um, you can do other things here. You could make the, the age, uh, the color, or whatever, whatever helps you see everything, okay? Um, and then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw lines for each child between their trial one and trial two, uh, where the trials are using the same shape of block. Okay, so I want, I'm going to specify block according to this interaction between child and shape. Okay. Um, so uh, let's just run this. Okay, and this is what we get. All right. So we have trial one over here and trial two over here. Okay. Um, the, the squares are the block, the circles are the cylinder, or uh, I'm sorry, the, the, the squares are the cube blocks and the cylinders or the, the circles are the cylinder blocks. Okay. And each line is going from trial one to trial two of a particular child with a particular, um, uh, shape of block. Okay. And then the ages, it's a little bit hard to make out here. Um, I think that probably more plots where it wasn't so overplotted would be the way to do this. Um, but the ages are denoted by how dark the line is. So basically, darker lines are older children. Okay. Um, but you see how it's so overplotted down here. It kind of makes it hard to make that out. And so you, you could do that. But um, this is just a way to get um, well, to see all how, how all of these variables relate. And so number three is, uh, is we want to summarize the relationships between the four variables. Okay. So um, we might want to, we might need to make more plots, but when it just says to summarize the relationships, I don't really like these kinds of questions because they're so open-ended. So what exactly do you mean by relationship? And I mean, you could become very torturous in your definition of a relationship. So, um, but uh, just some general trends that we could see here um, is, uh, is it seems like child uh, is really the biggest determinant of many of these variables, right? Because most of these lines are basically horizontal. There's a few exceptions, but um, but the time, the number of blocks, they all seem to be similar on both ends of the line. Okay. Um, so number four, 
we're going to produce another plot, but this time we are going to look at the number of blocks being used uh, and how that relates to the other variables except for time. Okay, so similar idea here. Okay, um, so now maybe some patterns start to emerge here that in retrospect are maybe present in the, in the previous graph, um, but we see a couple of things. One, uh, again, well, okay, one thing that we see is that it seems like more cubes are being used than cylinders, and that makes sense. It seems like cubes would uh, stack easier. It'd be easier to make towers with them, and so you could probably use more of the blocks before it became unstable. Um, and, you know, you'd really have to start to parse this out or do some kind of better analysis on it, but it kind of looks like going from trial one to trial two that the children are using fewer blocks when they're, when they're using cubes and when they're going from trial one to trial two with cylinders it seems like many of them are using slightly more cylinders and this could be like a motor learning thing right so so for example um with the with the cubes um it seems like right away they could be very good at it as good as they're going to get with you know in one trial because the cubes are easily stackable but they may learn from their mistakes on trial two from trial one with the cylinders where it might be a little bit harder to, to stack them and so they may be able to use a few more um they may be able to use a few more cylinders why are the cubes going down i don't know i mean all of this is would just have to be hypothesis driven but maybe for example they get bored or something like that they okay they saw that they could do this they did it once and now they're being urged to do it again and they're bored or who knows but um but anyway uh those seem to be the trends that i see just given how i have plotted it if we plotted it differently we might see different trends. And again, um, the, the reason I don't like these open-ended questions is because you have to know what you're looking for, right? Because, any, because then you will design the plot to try to expose that possible relationship. Okay, but anyway, uh, we'll call that good.